Welcome, Collective. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for tapping in back here again with another um, general intuitive energy read for the Collective. Don't know what's coming out, but we're going to see. Thanks to all my loyal supporters. Um, to my A1 Day ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see you. I appreciate you. Much gratitude to my... Um, if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, just want to say thank you to you all for your support. It really goes unnoticed. Okay, I notice it all. I really appreciate you and I thank you. The energy I was picking up here is that somebody's afraid to be caught. Okay. Somebody's afraid to be caught of doing something here. Oh, these are my two sons. Um, this is Kevin. This is Mark. Um, I lost my two children to 14 years this November. They both were murdered. Um, long story short, yeah, they were murdered, okay? They hadn't did anything wrong. Oh, yeah, look, somebody's afraid to be caught to do something here. So let's get into this energy, this type of collective. Um, hmm. Why is somebody afraid to be caught, spirit? Spirit guys, ancestors, of the hottest white light. Hmm, I don't know, but they're sorry. <laughs> they, whatever they did, they're afraid to be caught, okay? They're sorry, like, they want to cover it up. That's what I'm saying here. Whatever this is, having sex in the car, and they didn't want to leave a trail because they were afraid of being caught here. Wow. So somebody um, decided to have sex in the car so they wouldn't leave a trail. What is this? You may have been curious about this person. They have maybe been acting strange around you or something like that here. All right. Like, I'm getting the energy that somebody wants to cover for all the mistakes they've made. Like, just every mistake they've ever made with you, Collective. They want to just blanket the whole apology and just want you to accept it all and swallow the bitter pill at one time this big bitter ass pill that's unswallowable okay somebody here has been having sex in the car so they won't leave a trail so they don't want to be caught they're afraid of being caught here hmm wow what else is here Yeah, they may apologize uh, or attempt to apologize saying that he or she they ca got caught sleeping in the car with didn't mean anything to them. Okay. They don't have the class that you have, collective. Wow. What else is here? What else is here? Who is here? Please and thank you. Yeah. They're scary as hell. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Well, they're scared as hell of being caught. This is why they've been having sex in the car. Could be your car, could be their car. But they don't want to leave a trail. Like, no hotel receipts, no nothing. So, they just make out in the car. But, if they're caught, they're going to tell you that that person doesn't mean anything to them that they don't have the class that you have okay some sort of fucked up blanket ass apology okay but they're scared as hell being caught here you may have been curious or not oh, what your person's been doing or what they've been up to so what's your holy spirit what do they need to know i want to take a resonance and be what does not a girl or a guy oh a girl or a guy trip. Somebody's also afraid of somebody finding out that they went on a girl or a guy trip with somebody. Um, Feel masculine. With somebody that doesn't have the class that you have, you know. This person didn't mean anything to them. I guess, you know, by trying to soften the blow, you know, they had sex with this person in the car, you know, and they're going to tell you that they don't have the class that you have, you know, if they attempt to apologize, you know. Wow. Because they're scared as hell of being caught here. They didn't want to leave a trail. Like, who would stoop so low to let somebody treat them in that way? Hmm. 
won't be the last time they cheat on you though or wherever this <laughs> this energy is it won't be the last time they cheat on you they're afraid of being caught this person is real sneaky they real sneaky but they scary as hell though too so they yeah they don't want to leave a trail they really don't want you to catch them cheating mm. so there was either a guy trip or a girl trip that they, this person took okay mm. with somebody that was lower class than you somebody that they felt like really didn't mean you know too much to them at all uh, not not even enough you know to take them to a nice hotel room or something like that you know this is somebody that they they felt like they could just you know sleep with in the car wow which is gross but anyway they they will cheat on you again it won't be the last time all right they just scared of being caught that don't mean they, they, they ain't gonna stop cheating they just scared to get caught same here getting here what else is here spirit what's the collective needs to know I told you. So low budget karmic they've been sleeping with. A low budget karmic that sleeps with everybody. So we could be picking up on a prostitute or some sort. Okay. Pay the lay type, you know, feminine and masculine. Take how it resonates. Okay. While well, they know that, you know, you would make a scene if you caught them in the act here. They're afraid of being caught here. That's why they don't want to leave a trail. They're scary as hell. Like, they are scared to be caught by you from masculine. So they sleep with people that don't have the class that you have. They sleep with low budget karmics. Who would sleep with anybody? Okay. Wow. What else is here, spirit? What else? Mm-hmm. Somebody's cheating with their cousin's friend here. Yeah, somebody's cheating with the, your cousin's friend. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, have suspicion or you're curious about somebody cheating with your cousin's friend, your suspicions were probably right. Okay. They may have thought you were crazy or that you were making shit up or your person might have, you know, brushed it off and said you had some type of mental problems or something like that. Mm-hmm. This person may come home late, oh, late for dinner. That's because they're out with a karmic. They don't want to get caught. They sleep with them in the car because they look at this karmic like they're low budget anyway. Because they don't have the class that you have. Be a masculine or feminine. Wow. Hmm. What else is here? Anything else for the collective Holy Spirit? Messages for the collective? Okay. It says... You haven't heard from them. Oh. So this blanket apology was that this person didn't mean anything to them. Something could have happened on a girl, a guy trip. Or somebody could have took a trip and this happened. Okay, for some of you, not for all of you. Alright. Hmm. Maybe you didn't hear from your person when they took a trip because they was with this karmic here. And they tried to make a scene, cause some drama or something. So this person wasn't in contact with you. And that's the reason why, you know, if you haven't heard from them or you didn't hear from, from them, why they went on a trip of some sort okay so what else is here somebody thinks that you know saying I'm sorry is a cure all for their bullshit <laughs> it's not happening just because they sleep with somebody that doesn't have the class that you have doesn't mean that they're still not a cheater whether they sleep with somebody they consider low budget a low budget karma or not you know hmm what else is here Somebody here is being very curious about that person here. Okay. But believe me, B, your person is scared of being caught. Okay. If somebody's cheating with your cousin's friend, hmm, there's a mother or aunt that's involved here in something here. Wow. 
They may have knew about the drama that happened on the trip here. Okay. The mother or the aunt was involved. They knew something about the girl or the guy trip. Okay. Where somebody tried to make a scene. Caused some type of drama here. Okay. That's why you haven't heard from them. Okay. If you hadn't heard from them while they were on this trip, this is why. And there's an aunt or a mother or both that were involved in this. So this could have been some type of... I don't know, family trip or couples retreat or some shit. I mean, I don't know why you weren't invited if it was a guy or girl trip. So, wow. But there's a mother and aunt that was involved and in trying to make a scene or cause some drama here. Okay. Or this could have been the mother and aunt could be sisters. And then whoever this person is that was cheating with your cousin's friends, they could have tried to make a scene and cause some drama. Okay, thank you, Sierra, for clarifying that. What else is here? Trying to downplay the person that this, the karmic that they slept with. Like, you know, he or she didn't mean nothing to me, you know? Maybe there was an argument. Somebody made a scene, created a scene. Hiding their phone, changing their password, afraid of being caught. If your person is doing this, they're afraid of being caught. They're cheating. They're cheating. Okay, you've been curious about them. Why would they go to, 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 to that extreme? You know, a person that's been open and honest, you know, in a relationship doesn't have to hide anything. Okay. It says, uh, yeah, they're telling you that it'll never happen again. But it won't be the last time they cheat. Okay. Wow. Well, with somebody they consider that has less class than you. <laughs> like that's going to make it better. Like that's going to soften the blow. That's going to make it easier for this, you know, for you to follow this bitter ass pill. That's really huge, you know. They just want to put one whole blanket apology on it, you know. Like, forgive me for everything I've ever done to you. You know, I won't do it again. But Spirit is saying, yes, they will do it again. They will do it again. Okay, what else is here, Spirit? What else is here? This collective needs to know what it needs to be aware of at this time. Please and thank you. There's a karmic who won't stay out of your business. Okay. Because this won't be the last time your person cheats with this, this karmic. Okay. Mm-hmm. But if this karmic is caught and they try to give you some type of apology, all right? You know, they want you to give them one more chance, okay? Um, it's really up to you. You have free will, but I don't know. They may tell you it'll never happen again. Hmm. But they'll start hiding their phone and changing passwords so you won't have access, full access uh, to what they're doing, who they're talking to, because they're still talking to the karmic. Hmm. There's a mother or aunt that's involved also um, that's cheating with, with one of your family members. Wow. Yeah, the truth hurts to find that out. There's a mother or aunt that's involved with cheating one of, one of your own family members. Like somebody in the family, they're having sex with somebody in the family here. This could be somebody that they're married to or this could be just an all-out relative. This could be, I'm sensing some incest here. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Clarify for the collective, please, and thank you. Clarify for the collective. Concerning this read, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. I the love, light, and truth. What do they need to know? What do they need to know about this situation here? What do they need to be aware of? Let's see. Yeah, they'll ask for forgiveness here. Okay. They didn't mean to hurt you. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is what they'll say. They think, you know, like if they give you a blanket apology that... You know, this will help you get, get get past the wrong they've done to you, is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Somebody's person here is living in a damn 
fantasy world. They're living in an illusion here. You know, I don't know. They're living in illusion. It's not real love with somebody here. If they could cheat on you like this, you know, wow. And belittle somebody in their mind to think that, you know, because this person doesn't have more class than you, that that's not considered cheating. This person is delusional. Okay. We have closed off here. Yeah. You may notice that your person is like uh, not emotionally available. They're distracted. Distracted. Okay. Or you may be closed off because this person hurt you in the past. Okay. They said they wouldn't do it again. But, you know, to give them one more chance and, you know, that it wouldn't happen again. But they will do it again. This is what Spirit is saying. Hmm. Somebody's person here has a fierce temper here. Yeah, they have too many anger issues and dark moods. They can get abusive when they're accused, okay? They're afraid of being caught. This is why they're scary as hell. Like, I'm getting the energy that your person, somebody's person here is unpredictable. Like, if you say something to them, they'll react with anger instead of, you know, compromising and sitting down having that conversation, that needed conversation, you know? Yeah, they'll be more demanding. Um, overpowering, you know, unrealistic, you know, wow. They'll feel like, you know, that what you're asking them is unrealistic. Or they'll just downplay the whole thing is what I'm getting here. Okay. Well, somebody's person is about to get exposed for cheating, whether they want to be called or not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, somebody has a fragile heart here. Too open in danger of heartbreak. So who, who's ever dealing with this person that's gonna cheat on them again? Okay, that's gonna give you a, an apology for everything they ever done to you? Okay, behind your back calling you crazy, so much you make shit up, you got a mental problem or whatever. Yeah, they're, they are gonna still mess around with karmics, but they consider them low budget karmics, okay? Like it doesn't matter if they're human beings, like, and that they're cheating with them, you know, because they don't have the class that you have. They don't consider that cheating in their mind. Yeah, they're delusional is what I'm getting here. You may leave this person when you find this out. Okay. You may leave this cheater you're dealing with. I don't know. They're afraid to be caught. They could be, you know, verbally abusive or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Somebody's just in a relationship right now, dealing with a karmic ass cheater, just going through the motions. Okay. Just getting what you can get. Just, you know, out of the situation. That's not what a relationship is supposed to be based upon. That's not what a love and a commitment is not supposed to be based upon. You're just not supposed to go through the motions and, you know, you know, check yourself out. But you're in the relationship, but you've checked out of the relationship, you know, but you're still with this person and you know that they're cheating. Okay, you're cheating yourself when you do that. Okay, wow. I mean, just be realistic. Okay, if, it's, if love isn't there, then you shouldn't be there. Okay, that's the energy I'm getting here. Somebody's just like, um, I don't know, this, this mechanical reminds me like a robot. Like, you're just going through the motions like... You know, you're doing what you're supposed to do um, as far as your part in the relationship, be it masculine, you're doing your part, okay, but you're you're mechanical, you know. If you're a feminine, divine feminine, you're doing the same thing. You're just mechanical. You're just there going through the motions. You've already checked out. You don't even love this person. I mean, there is no love in the relationship, especially if this person is, person is cheating, okay. Wow. They're trying not to leave a trail. And they think if they mess with low budget karmics that you shouldn't care anyway. And somebody's person here has a fierce temper. Like if you confront them, you know, they may have some choice words or may, may be verbally abusive or something like that. Or they may get moody, you know. But whoever this cheater is, they're about to be exposed, whether they're afraid of being caught or not. Spirit is about to expose their ass, okay? Yeah. With all the temptation they got going on with them. Okay. Can't can't stop messing around. Can't stop cheating. You know, they ain't gonna stop cheating. 
All right? Trouble follows them, you know, around, you know, temptation. You know what I'm saying? They addicted to, to charming people, whether they low budget karmics or not. They are, they just devilish. Yeah, your person's unpredictable. Okay, you're just going through the motions in this relationship. Figure out an exit plan. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. You have free will, but figure out an exit plan if you have to. That's what Spirit is saying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One more for the collective before I close. You may ruin out this relationship, but you ain't making a move. You ain't making a move yet. Okay, some of y'all need to be prepared for a sudden change here. Is what I'm getting here. This person may tell you they didn't plan to hurt you, but shit, you better think of an escape plan if you have to. Get away from this person. Because what I'm seeing here, Spirit said, be sure. Okay, that you're not just going through the mo the motions in a relationship with somebody that, that that is true love. Okay, that's when you know it's real. But if you have to go through the motions, it's not real. Be sure you are getting involved for the right reasons, not for money, not for for, for material things, but for true love. Okay, wow. Because somebody's person here is using um, infatuation as an emotional escape to have a reason to go out and have sex with low budget karmics even you know go as far as having sex with them in cars um, because they don't value them you know what I'm saying and if they can devalue one human being what do you think they can do to another okay I'm just being realistic here all right have an exit plan that isn't real love yeah for some of y'all wow it's too little, too late. Um, take it, not ready to love again. Oh, so it's bad timing for somebody here. Okay. Wow. So somebody here just wants to remain being mechanical, just going through the motions in a relationship. Spirit said that's not where you're supposed to be. But it's up to you. You have free will. If you want to remain in a relationship and just go through the freaking motions knowing this person is cheating on you, okay, uh, this is with somebody here, then, I mean, wow, you're not ready for love then. And that's what Spirit said, why you're even in a relationship, because you're not ready for love. If you know or if you have suspicion that your person is cheating, okay, for some of you, you know your person is cheating. Why are you just in the relationship, just going through the motions? Is it for material gain, financial gain? What is it? Because it isn't love. It isn't love. Okay. Uh, wow. I almost said label yourself as it is or whatever. Are you a gold digger? I mean, why are you there? I mean, this is for somebody, not for my collective. But somebody in my collective's energy, hopefully. Yeah, because some my person got other lovers here. And they know it. They still in, in love. Mm -hmm. Involved with other people. Yeah. They have secret affections for other people. Mm-hmm. Wow. Still having uh, love affairs with people from their past. If you want out, get out. Okay. But, you know, somebody's not making a move here. If you're not going to make a move, this, this devilish energy right here is going to make a move on you. That's what Spirit said. They're going to make a move on you. You're going to find out and it's going to hurt you. It's going to break your heart to find out that they were other lovers. Because it's something you don't want to accept. Okay? But yeah. Some of y'all not paying attention. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep going through this vicious circle with this person here. Okay? Keep getting hurt. Time after time after time. You're going to end up being alone anyway. That's what Spirit said. Because a cheater can't, can't, can't commit. A cheater cannot commit. You're going to end up being alone anyway. Wow. That's the message Spirit has for you. Okay. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. You're going to end up being alone anyway. So you have free will. You can exit that if you, you know, you feel like you're in this, this type of mechanical relationship or whatever where you're just going through the motions. You, you're there for financial uh, stability or you're there for material gain or whatever. I mean, if it's not love, why... Why are you looking for a commitment where there is no love? Because if this person is cheating on you the way they are, this energy is coming out, 
you're going to be alone anyway. So why not go out and give yourself the opportunity to be loved by somebody that's worthy, that's worthy of your time, that respects your value, that respects your self-worth. Whoever this is, they, they already put people in, they already label people like, you know what I'm saying? They, wow. They're saying that you're higher class than this low budget karmic that they sleep with, that they cheat with. So they already have a messed up mindset. Okay, because everybody has value. Regardless of their situation, you know, where they are in life, you know, value yourself. All right, value yourself in your heart. Protect your heart. Know that you deserve more than just being there, than just being the mechanical person in the relationship, going through the motions, you know, um, for whatever reason. It's not love. If it's not love there, there's no commitment there. If there's no commitment, there's no relationship. Okay, if there's no relationship, then why are you there? Okay, because if this person's cheating the way they are, then you're going to be alone anyway. Because this person's never going to stop with, with, with those temptations, with, with cheating with people. Okay, wow. They can keep promising you, promising you time after time after time that it will never happen again. But the more they promise you that it will never happen again, it's the more that they're doing it. How many apologies have you gotten so far? I'll wait. Start counting. I'll wait. Exactly. All right. Hopefully some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, stopped at five or ten. You know, because somebody's person here is just an all-out cheater. And they think that every time they cheat on you, they could just throw a blanket over it and just give you one big-ass apology. Like you're supposed to be able to swallow all this pain at one time. It will end up destroying you. And spirit doesn't want that to happen. Okay? So if you want out, you have free will. You don't have to stay, but it's your choice. It's your God-given choice. Okay? Wow. Because with this person, sooner or later, you're going to end up alone anyway. How much time are you willing to waste? Because this karmic person you're dealing with is going to always have other lovers. Okay. Wow. They're going to always have this type of temptation to be with other people. Okay. With that being said, just remember you have free will collective. Wish you nothing but the best. Love, light, and truth always. Till next time, peace and namaste for now.